<laughs> so we did it. We has come to the end of uh, Stay of the Souls. And uh, this is the official closing of the event. I would just say um, a few numbers that we collect throughout the event. We have 208, 282 sign-ups so far on event yay, 66 speakers, 40 presentations, 11, um, 17 lightning talks, participants came from 43 different countries from across all the continents except for uh, Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, here together with me, I have Jane, Katie, and Sean from the organizing team. Um, is it okay with you that I share with the early audience a little bit of the background, you know, the behind the scene? Normally, people see what's happening on the rail, but maybe it's interesting to, to talk a little bit about uh, the preparation for the event. So, um, I actually um, took over the organization of the event uh, right after Patrick resigned from the OSI. It was in the beginning of uh, July. It was a very challenging time for OSI. Um, we did not have a staff member and there are a lot of operational um, uh, work that needs to be taken care of. So um, among the volunteer boards, we share uh, the responsibility and try to keep the lights on for the org. Uh, we were not so sure whether we should have stay of the source. Remember, I discussed with you, Chen, uh, we were not sure whether we should have it in September or we should postpone it um, toward the end of the year or next year. And then uh, Patrick uh, got me together with Chen and Katie. So we have the conversation and, 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 and I'd like to see whether it's possible. And Chen was very confident and said, OK, we can make it. I came back to the board, <laughs> share with them the, um, uh, uh, share the, um, uh, uh, what Chen said to me and said, OK, I think that uh, we can do it. And also with my experience of uh, organizing many events, at, with the Force Asia Summit. Uh, so we decided we stick to our timeline. And at that time, we did not close the call for speaker. We also did not get like a, a sponsor on board. It was in the beginning of July. So we only have about a month and a half to take care of the entire thing. And George, yes, he's here. So I'm pretty glad and really appreciate that he gave us the choice and also appointed me as the chair. And we get uh, the board agree that, OK, we should have this event. And then after that, uh, Chen, Katie, and I, even though we only met for the first time, we started to um, arrive very quickly. So we have our um, weekly meeting on Thursday. The first challenge was different time zone. So I'm living in, in Germany, and they are both in Arizona. So to find the time that we, we can meet regularly, it also <laughs> ah, yes, Colorado, yeah, Colorado, yeah. And then, uh, so, um, so I, um, so I would uh, talk to them uh, every Thursday when I finish my uh, full time job, and then they would get up early in the morning and join the call. We distributed the work, so chain taking care of uh, communication with uh, sponsor, and. It is a very hard job, you know, all the like, different requirements that we need to offer to, to the sponsor in chain throughout the events. He sent out over 100 of emails, a lot of communication going on until last week. Yeah, and Katie taking care of uh, the speaker, communication with the speaker. So, um, um, overlook of the overlaw of the content, we are live on um, the technical uh, issue what to use, what system to use. And I understand that for for Chen and Katie, this is also the first time that they have to um, try out so many open source system, open source, uh, many t new tools, you know, and I know that you, uh, you two organize a lot of events, but this is like a very special crowd, right? And yeah. I just want to say yeah. that uh, I was so happy to work together with you. Yeah, so I'm really grateful. I remember that we, we even let sing on a Sunday, I think just last Sunday. And sometime we, we caught we call Katie when she was out together with her children in the restaurant. Yeah, a lot of things <laughs> uh, behind the scene. And um, what else I want to say? Uh, so Chen has an idea that we should make a promotion video for the event. 
just a few weeks before. And you know that we are not professional video maker. So Jane came up, okay, let's do a trip and three of us. <laughs> from three different time zones okay, arranged together that we make a clip and then put them together. And so, so we have the promotion video um, for the event. What else that I, uh, um, maybe Chen and um, yeah, Big Blue Button. The first time we, we use Big Blue Button. Uh, Chen, maybe you can share about your experience. How well, I have a little bit of experience with Big Blue Button with another organization that we work with, um, but only as a user and in the context of basically like weekly meetings. So very basic, you know, six or eight people. And honestly, we actually only use the audio bridge for it. So we um, we had to dig in and rummage around and figure out what features we had, what constraints we had. Um, the uh, the folks at Blindside uh, Networks um, up there in Ottawa, they um, do a lot of support and um, development for Big Blue Buttons. So I uh, called them a few times actually on the telephone, you know, like old school because <laughs> I was like, hey, I need help. So um, yeah, it was, uh, it was um, a ton of fun um, and it was definitely, uh, there was a pretty steep learning curve to make sure that we were using the right tools um and you know meeting the the needs of the the group um so it was um it, it's been a ton of fun but it has been fast and furious no lie yeah how about uh, katie do you want to share anything what is uh, the difference between this event and other events that you organize uh, by the way i realized that you have become event year expert user <laughs> <laughs> yes i went like this was my first introduction to event year and um it was it was a little bit challenging in the beginning, but I, I feel pretty confident looking around in there now. Um, the conference has been great. I, I love my favorite part about organizing the conferences is is getting to the end where we get to put a face to all of the names that we've been working with over the last few months. The speakers, um, especially you guys, have worked so hard, and I appreciate all of the effort you've put into creating the videos and then being present watching yourself present. I know a couple of people mentioned that was very, very strange watching themselves present on the sidelines. Um, so that's, that's always my favorite part of the conference and I really enjoyed it um, this time around as well. Yes, and Sean, so I, I want to thank you as well. So actually, I think this is the first time I see you on camera. Normally, you keep your camera up throughout the session. I heard about you a lot from Jane, but um, yeah, it's so good to see you. Uh, what is your uh, text so far? Did you enjoy the conference yourself? I did. Um, this is my first time using Big Blue Button and um, Normally, I use a lot of open source programming and, and software to make my job a lot easier and a lot quicker. Um, and I always enjoy just helping you guys out, making all the presenters, everything flow as well as they can. Thank you very much. So Katie already mentioned that we uh, really appreciate all the speakers uh, for their contribution and for their patience. I know that we we sent out a lot of emails to you. <laughs> I want to call out a few names here. Um, uh, Pam, our Pamela from the OSI board, she actually um, hurt her shoulder just the last week, but she managed to make it to the event, be here present, interact with the audience, and also participate on the um, uh, OSI leadership panel. Uh, thank you to, to Molly. So Molly was really busy, like, moving her uh, her, uh, her apartment and uh, she managed to uh, to send us the videos uh, just yesterday right of course thank you to all the speaker who um who submit their talks very early who send their video very early <laughs> and one thing that um that i also want to highlight here we we need to thank our program committee katie um did you remember uh, that you sent out a thank you email to the program committee uh, after we finished I, the selection? I did not. We owe them a big thank you, yes. Um, I, uh, okay. we, we owe them a big thank you email at the end here, yes. Yeah, okay, so thank a uh, big thank to uh, Pamela uh, Czech 
and um, uh, Stefano uh, Chakiroli and uh, our Patrick uh, Mason for, mm. for for their support. Yeah, and um, uh, of course I also want to uh, to thank Channel uh, uh, Dimension Big Blue Button, our uh, partner, like taking the call, answering our call, and I also want to thank the event year developer like from India, Arif. So I fired a few issues during the event, like to figure out um, how to do the, uh, how to uh, run the scheduling, but they respond very quickly and all the other issues were solved. So thank you very much for that. I saw that Yuri put up um, the thank you message to our sponsors. Yeah, uh, Jen, would you like to, to add something here? As you have a close connection with the sponsor throughout, the, sure. <laughs> anything that you would like to highlight? It was, um, it was fantastic to have so much support um, and enthusiastic support, I should say. There was um, it was just quick when when the call went out. We had uh, nearly every one of these um, organizations responded very very quickly. Um, as Hong said, um, it is a challenge. Each of the organizations has um, you know different requirements for. Um, addendums and um, wording and and you know those kinds of things to go into the agreement and so we had to work our way through each of those uh, but you know yeah couldn't be more excited and um, and happy about the number that we had without these these organizations I don't know that we could have done this event I mean their financial support as well as their support in general with you know speakers and boffs and hallways and all of those good things. Um, I think it really was a critical piece of making this event come off. Yeah. Uh, Josh, would you like to say something on behalf of uh, the org to, to our sponsors? I would love to. Um, <clears throat> none of this would be possible but for our sponsors. Um, the, the sponsors who really underwrite uh, all, the, all the vendor contracts, you know, both uh, for the captioning, for the hosting, for just really every aspect of this, you know, we, we couldn't do without our sponsors. Um, and uh, I, you know, I was not so intimately involved in the process, uh, but I, I got a similar, you know, recognizing the timeline that this was organized on and that the call for sponsors went out when it did, it, it really is a credit to the sponsors and, and how, um, how much support there was for this event and how quickly they wrangled their, you know, all those unique PO systems and whatever their unique requirements were, like that takes hustling to get done, get through those systems uh, this quickly. So just endless gratitude to our sponsors. Um, but really the reason I'm here is not just to thank our sponsors. Um, I'm actually here to, uh, to, I'm here to thank Hong Fook um, because you know, I think Hong Fu set the uh, set the context a little bit. You know, Patrick uh, Patrick was our, our general manager. He resigned in in July, um, and you know, he's still working with us. For folks who are in the leadership session, know like you know, we're still one big family. But um, you know, Patrick is the only full time staff member of was OSI's only full time staff member, and to to lose him while this planning for this event was in flight was uh, was really challenging. Um, and so, you know, both a, a credit to to like, Kathy and Jen and Sean and just you know all the vendors we worked with on this to, to to pull it through. But above all, above all, I really think we all owe Hong Fu Gang an extraordinary debt of gratitude for putting this event together. Because not only was she the chair for this event. She was the vice president of the open source initiative, and her and I were alternating weeks taking over general manager's duties. So uh, there were times in the last couple of months when Hong Fook was doing two and three different jobs all at once. Um, I know this is a labor of love. Um, I know uh, Hong Fook doesn't always like it when I, I shower her with praise, but, uh, but it, honestly, the fact that we're all here today. This is this is this is your doing, Hong Fu, um, and I, I hope uh, I hope you're proud of your work. I sure am. So uh, thank you, Hong Fu. <laughs> it was my pleasure. I'm really happy to do it, and I would love to do it again if uh, Jane and Katie and Sean also on board. 
<laughs> so um yeah thank you as well the the, the audience yeah so we checked out every uh, session for uh, the engagement and i must say that we have a very good level of uh, audience engagement compared to many events that i participate during uh, the last few months so thank you very much for your uh, enthusiasm and for your contribution to the conference and uh, just I, I just want to go uh, quickly some of uh, the lesson learned that we have and also maybe give the audience the chance to give us uh, any feedback uh, um, that we can improve for the next event. So Katie will be sending out a survey asking for feedback from you, but um, this is uh, now the opportunity if you want to give us any direct feedback, uh, please do so. Um, Sean, uh, could I ask you to um, unblock everyone? if they want to say something. Everyone is. OK, very good. So um, uh, what I like, I can say uh, like the good thing about the event, uh, like in my opi opinion, compared to the uh, physical event, I think that uh, it's really good that we have the share notes uh, function so we can uh, engage the audience and keep track of all the questions. So everything we put public at the end, normally in a physical event, sometimes we don't have enough time to, to, to address all the questions and people often are very shy. They don't like so vocal about asking the speaker directly, but like having it online, I think the the level of engagement also increased and um, uh, all the notes that have been taken during the event will be sent to the OSI board and we will for sure taking action on those. Yeah, um, maybe Isabel can go to see what uh, good thing that we that we find about having the event online. And then I can also, uh, the audience can also jump in. One of the things I'm finding with online events that I think is the most exciting, and we've touched on it um, in other sessions, is just the, um, the accessibility of them and the way it allows people to come and participate and actively engage in ways that they wouldn't normally if we were in, say, somewhere in North America. Um, Hong, you mentioned travel visas and time and costs. I mean, there's just there's so many barriers to an in-person event. Now, I, I love in-person events. I've been managing them for 18 years, so I love them. But I think that this is a piece that really um, has suffered, you know, and, and we haven't had as many voices involved so um, I think that that is one of the huge upsides. And I really saw that here. I mean, the, the statistics that Hong shared earlier about, you know, every continent and 43 countries. And I, I think that is so, so cool. And um, there's so many conversations that have come out of the sessions that I was in that, Josh, you guys have a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> but true. The is there too, so that's very exciting. Uh, yeah, so I saw some comments saying that plus one to the uh, single check layout. Yeah. Um, yeah, so 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 I think that uh, we did uh, pretty good well with the scheduling, even though I hope that next year I was also thinking perhaps we have some break in between so that we can cover um, other time zone as well. So now we have a, a session back to back, right, the entire day on the Eastern time zone. Uh, some people, especially in Australia, it's difficult for them to, to participate. We got that feedback as well. Perhaps uh, we can do like some track in between the session. Yeah, we, we do not at that. Yeah. Um, uh, any uh, other good side from Katie? Do you have something to share? I think, I mean, what Jen touched on, I think is, is definitely the most value of the um, online conferences, just the accessibility and the ability to have such a diverse group of people easily collaborate together um, where it's it's just not so easy to do so in person. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I have anything else to add at this point, but it's it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I saw that we also are collecting a bunch of notes during the um, the last few days. Yeah, we we for sure could uh, work on those and improve for the next uh, our next event. Um, let me see if there is anything else from the audience. 
breaks. Yeah, so they all had light break. Um, uh, George, uh, so Chen only uh, <laughs> pointed out to you that we have a lot of work to do. Um, what are the plans to follow up on these uh, topics? This is this is one of the things that I've really loved uh, about my time with OSI, and and I gotta say it's it's it is challenging and, and outrageously time consuming. But here's here's what I've really loved about serving in, in this capacity with with you. Um, is that, you know, not only is the work important, I think, you know, obviously we're here because we think it's important. We wouldn't be otherwise. Um, but this is work that is appreciated and people are passionate about it. You know, the thing that, that I always, you know, I come from a community management background and a community organizing background. And, and my, my philosophy is that, um, whether somebody is angry or critical or happy and gushing with praise, usually you hear less of the praise than you would want. But no matter what, if you're hearing from people at all, they care. They care. And I would so much rather be serving a community that cares than a community that's like, oh yeah, OSI is over there. They're just they're gonna do whatever and you know, fine, we're not that interested. Like just the fact that so many people showed up, that we had so many, uh, so many different perspectives. Not all of them were in aligned with each aligned with each other. We did have different perspectives that were sometimes at cross purposes. But I think that's healthy. I think that's really a sign of just how vibrant the the communities that we we participate in and serve are, um, and how vigorous uh, and lively the discussions are around sort of where where have we been and where are we going. Uh, so I'll say we we got a lot of positive feedback. We got a lot of critical feedback, not just on on you know specifics of like how we run our first event, but just about OSI as an organization itself. And I think that's probably what was alluded to. And we do have a lot of work to do. Um, and you know over the last several years, OSI has really been under the microscope with the resurgence and source available licensing and things like that. And and uh, sort of a, a not just not a resurgence, but just the ethical sourcing like blooming into the stage. Um, you know, OSI has been under a microscope. And so we've we've received a lot of input and feedback over the last couple of years. <clears throat> and it's all been useful and it's informing the plans that we're, we're making for the future. But I gotta say, all of it was really distilled into two days here um, and, and really, really effectively. Um, so I think, you know, as I alluded in, to in my keynote and, and in the leadership panel earlier today, uh, OSI needs to finish its governance reform, needs to finish its strategy uh, setting process, needs to hire a, what I termed a small but mighty staff. Um, because for us to really be the organization that the community wants, well, it's going to take staff time. We need people who are paid to do this work because um, there's not enough, not enough hours that the day to do this on a volunteer basis. Uh, so just be be looking for communications from us. Uh, be looking for opportunities to participate in, in discussions and working groups. And um, because this, while this year 2020 is, um, you know, OSI doing a lot of self work, this is in the lead up to 2021 when we need to do a lot of work as a community and we're going to need your voice as a part of that. So um, the work isn't done. It'll never be done, uh, but we do have a couple of very critical years in our hands, and I'm just so grateful that everybody's here to, to be a part of that. Um, so thank you. Yes, so we have the promise from the president. All the comments and feedback will be addressed by OSI. Yes, so um, uh, Matt, I saw your uh, comment about Telegram. Actually, we just realized uh, people requesting the communication set channel. So we just set up it today. Yeah, we'll be like better prepared next time. Uh, thank you for, for the feedback. Uh, we will be sending um, more information via email later uh, later on. Um, do we have any uh, other feedback from the audience or anyone want to say something? I just wanted to make a plug real quick to um, 
subscribe to the YouTube channel because we'll be putting up all of the videos uh, and we're gonna splice together the, the presenter video, add on the Q&A piece, and then um, we'll have the uh, captionings in there too. So um, if you wanna see those, if you missed any sessions or things you wanna catch up on or revisit, make sure you check that out. Thank you, Josh. There's the link in the chat. <laughs> and because I'm because I'm shameless, I will say please do subscribe and pass that along and other ask other people to subscribe too. Because once we get a hundred subscribers, we can get a custom URL and not that letter soup. Ooh. Ah, that is very good information. Yes, yes. So, and we will be sending uh, this link out as well to uh, to you via email. Okay. So, if we if there is um. I have a request. Uh, I, I have a, yeah. a, a request uh, that that is uh, coming from the Twitterverse, and I'm I'm all about this. Um, if folks if folks are up for it, I would love to do uh, an internet selfie uh, just to get as many webcams on as possible <laughs> and, and take a screenshot together just to close this out uh, in a strong communal fashion. Excellent right? idea. I'm not sure if people would like to join in. <laughs> All right, so now, folks, if you are up for this, now is the Some of us are shameless as Joshua, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Glad I'm in good company. Oh, I, I, I really like your Mickey with the OSI logo on it. Yeah, I figured I'd better get the swag on there before <laughs> the talk today. <laughs> so right, do we, we have more proof? Uh, Come on, it is done, please. Yeah, there's a Justin. Can we get our can Mario, we get Ruth, yeah, yeah, Mario. Mario. Uh, awesome. Maybe we uh, should we give people some hint. Maybe are they are not familiar with the button. I figured you knew that my camera worked. <laughs> yes. Let's see, who do we have? We got six of us. I know, Ruth was the one who suggested this, so I'm, 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 I'm gonna. There she is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, awesome. Okay, let's see if I can get more of us on screen. Hide all of those side windows. Uh, good looking out. You should be able to get all on one screen. Yeah, so I saw that uh, Daniel Malowski is still here. Are you there, Daniel? Do you want to jump in? Yeah, so it's night time here, so my my video is kind of off, but I still want the selfie. <laughs> yes, awesome. <laughs> All right, everybody look at the camera. <laughs> I love that Michael brought his dog. Hey. Yeah, hi. Yeah, I just uh, unmuted myself here. Uh, yeah, it was a very, very nice event, actually, and it was a great pleasure also to take part. So thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for being here. All right, stick with it for just another moment here. I'm, I'm, I'm going, going through. Yes, awesome. Can I get everybody? I got one more to go. <laughs> All right. Bear with me for one more moment. One more moment. Now I'm going to do the actual <laughs> screenshot. I know. I know. I'm a, I'm a tyrant. Take it. Yeah, this will still be like 20% as long as it takes to do the photos after sustain OSS. So I think we're doing okay. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad someone else is getting the screenshots as well. <laughs> That's me. Yes. Awesome. Are we good, Josh? I think so. Ah, OK. So I did not know that you still like uh, <laughs> taking your, your camera. So everyone, State of the Source officially closed. Stay Ooh. healthy, stay safe, and see you again next year. <laughs> so, see you next time. Bye. See you everybody. soon. Thanks, all.